My name is Faye Carroll. I am a singer. All of the way that I stand, there's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. If you feel what I feel, please let me know that it's real. Oh, you're just too good to be true. I can't stop looking at you, baby. <laughs> doing music people if you come to see us you're going to see a little bit of everything <laughs> Right, then we're doing boogie woogies, we're doing funk, we're doing straight ahead, hardcore swinging. Gotta be swinging. Because Duke Ellington done already told us it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing and everything got a swing. Makes no difference if it's sweet or hot. You better do it and it. Give the rhythm and the head you got. Sit a little bit. It's like watching someone paint, and, and she just brings us in. Uh, so I love hearing any song she sings. She, she is fake Caroline. I've never, ever known Faye Carroll to give an indifferent performance. Faye Carroll always brings love and deep enthusiasm and really the pure spirit of the music in every show that I've ever heard her sing. And there's really no one like her. She's a love incarnate. She's just a ball of love and energy and hope and you know, great singing, all, all genre, genre crossing. She doesn't care where it came from. If she loves it, she's gonna do it. I got me a hammer, got me a bell. God knows I got a song to sing over this land. It's the hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. It's a song about love between my love. Martha Young was a big part of my learning how to hear what we call jazz. Because prior to Martha, I was gospel and R&B pretty exclusively. When I met Martha, 
and we became a really good friends. She told me that her uncle was Lester Young. Well, at the time, I was in high school, and I didn't know Lester Young from anybody. But, and she told me about Billie Holiday. Then I met my husband, whose name was Jim Gamble, who was a real student of the music and a professor of the music. I started learning all about the folks, all about Charlie Parker and Bessie Smith and Count Basie and Jimmy Russian and all of our people. That was kind of my foray into knowing and wanting to know more about this music. It was through Martha Young and later on through my husband, James Gamble. So I've been studying it ever since. I'm still studying it. Well, Johnny Talbot and the Thangs, this was when I won a contest at the Oakland Auditorium. And the prize was to sing with a professional band on a professional job. And at the time, Johnny was the hottest thing around here. So I was so honored to get a chance to play with them. And that's how I got started. We did that gig, and then that gig lasted for 10 years or so. And one of the things that we did that, I, that was really one of the high points for me was going on tour with Marvin Gaye. That was Marvin Gaye, Melba Moore, and LTD. It was magic, absolute magic. It's not that easy to be green Having to spend each day The color of a leaf And I decided to form my when own I group because I had my own vision myself. of what did I wanted to do. So when I would make my arrangements, they would have all the different flavors in there, whether it's funk, the blues, straight ahead, R&B, all amalgamated into one thing. And I wanted to do it in an acoustic setting. I just knew, and still know, that acoustically speaking, you could be just as funky, just nasty, <laughs> right? If somebody is, know how to dig in there, and somebody with two hands on the piano, so I could get eight to the bar when I wanted it. So it's just different flavors. So I can't see why I can't have all of the flavors, right? And I do. <laughs> My daughter's name is Kito Kamili, who's a very gifted pianist. And she is a pianist and a composer, a rapper, and a singer, and an educator. So, we had lots of success because we were a mother and daughter team. And we did that for a number of years. We had a gig out to the estuary and uh, we were on right before Albert King and he happened to walk up when we were playing. So from that, he just kind of wigged out and said, you guys come on up here and play with me. When he came back to town after that, he did call us. He said, where's that girl and her mama? <laughs> when Mandela came to town, I had the privilege of uh, writing a song for him and got a chance to sing it with Pharrell Sanders, Ed Kelly, and Bobby Hutchison, and a couple of more cats. So they had an all-star band, and I was the vocalist. So that was a big highlight, to be able to sing for Nelson Mandela in Oakland, the Oakland Blues Walk of Fame. To have a star there to me is a big deal because I love the blues so much. When Faye sings the blues, when Faye Carroll sings the blues, there is nothing like it. I wanna chill with you, baby. I wanna chill with you.
to know now that I've been singing a long time and I'm singing with Joe Warner and now we're doing all the different things I love to do. We do shuffles, all, we do Latin, we do free, open and freestyle stuff, standards, it's the gospel, it's originals, it's everything. And Joe and I have been going all over now doing all the things. One of the awards that I got, I was surprised by when I was notified by the Jazz Journalists Association to tell me that I was going to receive the Jazz Journalist Hero Award for 2014. Teaching is one of the other things that I really like doing. I had my own uh, after school program called Music in the Community, where I taught after school kids for about 10 years at the Black Repertory Theater. And now I have a, a, a entity called the School of the Get Down. And I've been doing that now for 10 or 12 years. She loves people and she loves children and she's committed to her educational process with children as well as adults. She's gifted in that way. People feel her sincerity they feel her love, but they learn quickly because she's authentic, she knows what she's doing, and she has a beautiful gift of imparting her knowledge in a way that people assimilate quickly and uh, just authentically just like her. And she is a powerhouse on the stage. There is no one like Faye Carroll. I don't think there's anything that I would design and produce through my organization that I wouldn't consider Faye to be a part of. I have been playing with Joe Warner, and we have been a uh, dynamic duo and playing all over the place. So I would advise you, if you have not heard Faye Carroll and Joe Warner, you should do that. Hello. 
y'all come. I, I got to say this. Whenever you see Faye Carroll, you see Joe Warner, each one brings some. Over and out.